Okay guys, welcome back and this is going to be how to fulfill an order with Oberlo. So just on this note though, what you want to do is let's say you've set up your whole Shopify store, etc. is get someone to go through and buy a product first before you um, you know, start advertising it heavily. Very important because if you have some sort of issue, then there's going to be a problem with checking out and you've spent money on Facebook ads and then you have all these people going to your website and they can't check out, you need to uh, sort any issues out beforehand. So just get like your family member or whatever to go through and buy it. Um, or you can use a different card that you don't have on file. That's all I've done here today. And what I did is um, I went to AliExpress and I've bought one of these watches by the way. So I saw how much it would cost me total. It was like $9 or whatever total with the shipping. And so then I've just put it as $10, like mark the price down. All I did was go to products and pricing, marked it down to $10 just so I could buy it off myself and then send it to myself. But um, yeah, just put it down to the minimum cost. So I'm not spending heaps of money on it, obviously. So then I'll go back and mark up the price. But anyway, how do we fulfill an order? So it'll obviously come up in orders here and you can look at it that way. But if we just go back <clears throat> and we go to um, one order to fulfill, if we go to apps and then we go to a So this is what you guys will need to see here. So then you have to order. So all you do is click on this. customer Bodie Davison and then you go to order product here so we'll just click this and this is the power of a burlo unless I need to log into Aliexpress because I don't think I was logged in so now a burlo automatically picks the product adds the shopping cart and places the order for you yeah I do need to sign in so what will happen sometimes is um, the phone number is mandatory these days. So you just fill in this. So uh, I don't even know what it is for Australia. 01 maybe. Um, and then you can just put in whatever. It doesn't matter um, whether you have their mobile number. If you want to get their mobile number, obviously you can do that. But it's not going to matter that much you must include it so then you go save and ship to this address so now you've come down to this part and it has um your shipping here make sure that you choose e-packet if you leave that on automatic it'll choose whatever it'll choose this maybe and then it can end up being 23 to 47 days the reason we have e-packet is to utilize e-packet so make sure you select e-packet and then so what did i do there E packet click OK and then obviously you just go confirm and pay and so that is it guys then it will be verified you'll get an email and just like that it's done um, so something that happened there was my card had actually expired um, funny that it happens just when I'm doing this video but anyway this watch looks all right so does that one that's one I looked at though um, so anyway if you ever need to do anything with your card all you have to update your card on Aliexpress I just thought I'd throw this on the end because it just happened anyway is you just go to um, Alipay so this is all you do set up your account through here um, Alipay is Aliexpress's yeah third-party mobile and online payment platform for um, the Alibaba group, which owns AliExpress, obviously. So yeah, you just go to Alipay, Alipay here, and set up your card on there. There's a thing that says manage cards. And just put that, put your card on there and remove the other card. And then go back to AliExpress and you, you'll be fine. It'll be on your account there.